Hey, Bass Geek here, and we're gonna talk about a bait no one ever talks about, but can replace a swim bait, a Ned rig, and even be used as a trailer. But it also catches big bass. What's going on, geeks? We're gonna talk about a bait that no one talks about. It's the most simple bait there is to throw. It's a tremendous bait. It's an incredible bait. It's a stupendous bait that you can use as trailers. You can use as a swim bait because it was the original swim bait. You can use as a Ned rig because it's so tiny, but it's got a little tail and it goes jiggy jiggy. You can use it for everything. And let me tell you, the old guys, the guys that are winning the tournaments out there that you all are in, trust me, they know about it. They use it. They are taking your money with it. But we all know those guys don't talk about it. Well, I'm going to talk about it today. But before we do that, let's take care of just a little bit of business. Guys, I love you all. I love the 100% Watch Squad. Best way to support the channel every Sunday and Wednesday, 5 p.m. Eh, give or take an hour. Sometimes I'm late. I can't help it. I like to fish. So sometimes I'll stand out here and fish, okay? But Sunday and Wednesday period, videos will be out. We put out shorts in between those two videos. Most of the time we try to put out shorts, I think it's like Tuesday and Friday. All that being said, thanks for watching. Watch the videos, guys. 100% of the videos, I'm telling you, that helps the algorithm more than anything. And if you want to, if you want to be a channel sponsor, just hit that thanks button down there. Give whatever you want to give. You know, if we could get half the people that watch a video to watch, you know, to donate a dollar, we'd be right as rain. And I could be out here doing this every month and literally coming to your lake breaking it down and fishing, which would be fun because I get tired of fishing these lakes. Let's go talk about the many ways you can fish a grub. All right, guys, so let's talk about the grubs and the different types of head I love to use. Now, if I'm really fishing it on the bottom and something I love to do is drag it on the bottom. I love a ball head and I also love a Ned head. Angler tungsten is what I use all the way up to a half ounce. Now, unfortunately, on the ball heads, the, the little swim bait heads or the drop heads, I'm out of... Uh, the eclipse head which i love because it's got the eye and it's got the screw lock key keeper not just that little thing so you can, it really helps you keep your plastics for longer this is the queen's tackle now angler doesn't make past a half ounce so if i'm throwing like a three quarters this is what i'm going to go with they make a little heavier i think they make the three quarters five eighths and one ounce so i will throw uh, these if i'm throwing a little bigger this is a three eighths it's perfect for a grub right here but right now since we're going to be fishing through a school i'm going to show you how i rig these but first let's talk about the different types of grubs that i really like one of my favorites is a bass munitions look at that big tail right there great little uh grub right there of course the rage grub the fat albert probably one of my favorites right there from zoom and a little more finessey, but still great looking little grub is the Gary Yamamoto. And actually, I'm going to put the Gary Yamamoto on this. A great one, and that's one of my favorite color, colors of baby bass. So now, I'm going to show you how to rig it. Now, one of the things you always want to pay attention to with your plastics is absolutely that seam. That seam that comes right down the tail. Now, I do it just like I do everything else. I'll lay the bait up there to where I want it. And I'll just put my thumb right where I, right where it's going to come out. And then I'll go back there. And with these, you really got to kind of pick a place. Just pick it because just punching a hole in it isn't going to... So see, you make a little tear. Is it going to really be there, be big enough to be able to see where you're coming out? So then, just like everything else, you want to shove it right there in the middle. Keep that head nice and fat. Find that pick and come right out. Then you shove it up on there. And there you have a nice straight grub. You guys can give me your reasons in the comment section below if you like it up, if you like it down. I run it up all the time. I think it gets a little more action and it's in line with the hook. So when they come up behind it, it's not, you know, down here. More tendency to hit it, in my opinion. All right, let's go fish these things. All right, guys, let's talk about my spinning setup for a grub. 
That's right, spinning setup. You can fish this bad boy on a spinning or especially if you're fishing deep if you're fishing shallow all the time with it of course i recommend doing it on a spinning reel but you can get away with a bait caster if you got the right bait casting rod this is a 7.3 medium heavy fast action rod we are literally grinding the paint off my boat right now anyway this is a seven foot three medium heavy fast action this is a tfo tactical elite bass love the wind grips on it and i've got it paired of course with the custom pro speed spool great little rod always got the canine on there canine 20 pound test that is you know my main line and on this rod we've got eight pound test fluorocarbon which is also the 100 pro from canine now let's look at the bait caster so now this is a three quarters ounce head here so this is the tfo professional best bang for the buck i'm telling you this is a seven foot medium i also use this for small swim baits this is also a great rod because it's a mod fast it's also a great rod for crank baits but i love this for small swim baits also so of course i'm going to throw a grub on it this is seven three it's it's a little fast i probably recommend going a little bit slower but it's just what i've got right now and this is the akuma hakai great little casting reel little fast again when it when i go to like swim baits and stuff like that i like that six three six four but right now this is what i've got i'm getting ready to get another one this is my combo of course i'm using canine pro 100 100% fluorocarbon on here, and we've got eight pound test. I like to keep this down. All right, let's talk about fishing grubs. There's really no secret to fishing a grub, especially when I've got it rigged like this. It's basically the same thing as fishing a swim bait, a small Kitek or the Miki Armor Shad uh, paddle tail. You know, you're gonna throw it out there, you're gonna sink it to the bottom, uh, and you're gonna slow roll it. It's just so much more subtle and so much more natural. It's the same way why a lot of guys are gonna use those twin tail grubs on a jig. This is a nice tight swimming action. But it really is great because you can really fish these on the bottom or you can fish them above. So when you're fishing them on the bottom, you can really feel that bottom, tell what's on the bottom. It, you can contour the bottom or you can fish it slightly above if they're feeding up. And the great thing about a ball head or putting it on a net head is you could do either one. But that's about as easy as it is. Sometimes I like to put a net head on it when I like to really drag it on some muddy banks. It really imitates a crawl very well when you're leaving a little mud trail. And this is about as subtle as you can get when it comes to swim baits. Guys, as always, questions and comments in the comment section below. Make sure you let me know how you like to fish a grub, especially in the winter time. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell. 100% Watch Squad helps support the channel better than anything. And as always, you guys rock. All right, guys, let's do the draw for the Tackle Warehouse Bass Geek Box for January. We're going to copy that over. Go ahead and type that in, or, well, paste it in. I ain't typing that crap. Uh, we're going to fill it to the duplicates, include replies in the comments. Got to do some math now. And let's get those comments. 146 comments. Let's see who's going to win. Digar 10 hashtag spoon. All right, man. That's all you had to say. Congratulations. I'll leave a comment down there and let you know you won. As always, guys, hey, stay tuned. The February box is on its way. That video will come out probably mid-month. Uh, as always, you guys rock. <laughs>